Hey everybody, welcome back to another Mitsuhira Arita Illustrator episode. We are here with, uh, well, we're here in the e-reader series, gold and silver era, and uh, we got some great stuff coming up here. This is also the beginning of those wonderful reverse foils. Oh yeah, so let's just jump right into it. So here we've got Magby. Wonderful uh, illustration there on a caldera, which is a some kind of volcano thing. I don't really remember. I just remember the word. Yeah. Uh, they had a couple different versions of these cards. So there is a foil uh, or a reverse foil of uh, rare, and then there is a hollow version and the reverse foil of that, I believe. But um, yeah, wonderful illustration there. Uh, Flaffy, a Christmas illustration. Look at that. And I didn't realize until I saw this in HD, um, but Flaffy there actually powering the Christmas tree. That's kind of cool. Christmas trees first came over from Germany, I believe, in the 1700s, uh, to the United States anyways. Uh, the first uh, English Christmas tree, you know, in England, uh, that was a Prince Albert. Don't remember when. Hmm. Yeah, first electrically lit Christmas tree here in Southern California, excuse me, first outdoor electrically lit Christmas tree, and y'all don't care. Yeah, 1904, but yeah, let's get on with the Pokemon stuff. Houndour, look at those shadows. So cool, that is a, just an awesome illustration there. I wish the foil stood out more, but it is there. Mmm, so good. Bayleaf. Nice illustration there. It is standing on lily pads. Must not be that heavy. These things say how heavy they are? No, they stopped putting that ridiculous schlock on there. Good stuff. Good job, Pokemon Company. Totodile. We have an Oddish in here too. And uh, Oddish is running for its life. Maybe Totodile is just playing with it. But Oddish does not look like it's having fun. No. Fun illustration though, for Alligator. Look at that water. Now, uh, last time I filmed this, I had a hollow version. Uh, this is the reverse foil, so we can really see that underwater uh, scene there. He did this with an inkwell pen, um, and he went in and took out some of the lines, but there's still some inkwell in there, and you can probably see it in the HD version now. And, uh, well, mm, just love this illustration. Couldn't, Can't talk enough about it. Now these three are the some of the tea promos from the uh, Pokemon Trainers magazine. And uh, we have the uh, Gen 2 starters in their Stage 1 evolution. Bayleaf. Quillava. Love the waterfall lit there in the background. Good stuff. And all three of these fit into one scene, actually. So if you see them all together, it's kind of cool. Might be able to find that somewhere. And Croconaw, fishing in the water. And here to Remoraid. Shooting, uh, shooting some water at the camera there. Now this is Aquapolis, and uh, the interesting thing about Aquapolis is that uh, there were three cards that had alternate prints, we'll say, in the in the McDonald's booster packs uh, for the you know we talked about those already with Zatu, and so this is the Morning Sun Umbreon, I'll call it. And here, we have the Evening Moon Umbreon from Aquapolis, or Aquapolis. And you can see that they are two parts of the same image there. So this would be on one side of the rooftop, and that's on the other. But you can see there's that uh, same tower in the background. These are the only cards that will never be reverse hollows for me, because I don't want to take away from the McDonald's prints, which are only in non hollow Love that Quagsire there, too. More underwater stuff from Arita. Have those two right next to each other, on purpose. Lantern.
Again, from B McDonald's, print there. And the Aquapolis Lantern. I like this one a little better. And again, sorry if it bothers you how I'm saying Aquapolis. I don't know. Aquapolis just always felt better to me somehow. Zedra. Maybe that's Aquapolis down there. Yeah. Sunlight filtering through the water above. I love this Don Van. Look at that. Now, there's a story in this. He was rampaging through the streets. Got a balcony over here. And then he finally met a wall and broke right through it. Some bricks. <laughs> There's even a brick up on his head there. Good stuff. And turning the page, we have Hypno. And this illustration is just so creepy, it is so good. Uh, there he is, eating someone's dream, putting him to sleep there through the window. Really, really long depth of field. And if you know what that means, that, what that is, is where the farthest object that is in focus to the closest object that is in focus. And Arita likes doing this a lot. You get really deep or uh, images with a lot of focal length in them. Uh, that's not the right term. It's not focal length, it's depth of field. Mag Cargo. Now, also, one of a couple of rares here from Sky Ridge that won't be reverse foil just because I wanted the page to look better. Ursaring, one of my favorite cards, period. Look at that, he's just chilling. If I could be like that in life all the time, I would. This Ursaring would be my spirit animal. And we got right on here. And this Celebi pulled myself. So nice. Um, I wanted it in, re in reverse foil. It was the last pack in the booster box. Still to this day, I wish I hadn't opened that booster box, but I did. And, uh, well... It is pretty cool. <laughs> I will say that. Right cool. All of these again from Sky Ridge. Let's just give this a view. A little moment again here. Mm. And Nitto Queen. There we go. Get that reflection out of there. Nitto Queen. Wandering through the ruins or something. Nice shadow play there. And this one I also pulled from that booster box. Two crystals. Actually, I believe I pulled a hollow. I do have the hollow version. This is the reverse hollow. Because you can see the illustration better. And I'm not sure what's going on in the background there. Maybe a sunset. Don't know. Some interesting perspective there with Golem once again. And Pinaco. <laughs> I don't know why, this card was really hard to track down. And Rusty, TCA Gaming, at, at that point, the Charizard Authority, he actually, uh, I bought this one from him. So, uh, thanks Rusty. Helped me to, uh, col uh, complete this section of the collection. Now this is Ladius. Pardon my fingers there. <clears throat> Let's just cut that out. Now this is Ladius, and uh, the foil makes it hard to see what's going on, so I'm going to show you the uh, Latios that goes with it. These are from 10th uh, movie, I believe. 10th movie half deck. 10th sounds too late, but maybe it was. Japanese a movie half deck, uh, Altamare, Altamare's Ladius and Latios. Maybe it's supposed to be Spanish. Alto mare. That's Italian. Sound it. I don't know. But as I angle it down, you can see the scenery better there. And you can see Ladia, Ladios down in the corner there. Ladios looking down at him. 
or I don't remember if they're siblings, brother, sister, sisters, brothers, I don't know. And then here, we've got uh, Latias up in the corner there, and Latios cruising along the surface of the river. Very cool cards. They would later be redone as promos in a, one of the Sun and Moon sets, I believe. But we will see those because they are rehashes, not reprints, which is always cool. Nose pass, whole bunch of them standing in a row. And now we are in Ruby and Sapphire. Aaron, love the lighting going through this uh, triad of cards, the evolution chain here. Aaron in the cave, staring up at the light. Love those deep blue cerulean eyes. And then we get Lara in the cave, the blue behind him, the light shining in. Him kind of glaring at it. Maybe he's a vampire. Maybe he just kind of a recluse. Doesn't really like the sunlight. And then Agron out into the sun. Looking gloomy. But also looking pretty cool. And my personal favorite starter from Gen 3. While I did love Gen 2 the most, Gen 3 starters were pretty fun. And we've got Mudkip here. So much fun. Just look at that. Look at that smile. How can you not like that thing? Great lighting on him, too, once again. Marsh Tom. Playing in the mud. And lastly, Swampert. And Swampert here. Of course, a reverse holo as well. A tank back then. And with that, we're going to end the video for today. Thanks for joining me here, guys. It has been my pleasure sharing it with you. If you want to see more, please do like, subscribe, click all the buttons, do all the stuff. And I will see you in the next Arita video.